your own offers are always going to be converting way higher than anything else. Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel, the best place for coaches, consultants, and personal brands, and anybody who's trying to build a massive audience online using social media and the most recent marketing strategies, and for those who also want to monetize their expertise. My name is Julian Astrovska from julianastrovska.com. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell sign down below so you never miss out on any future videos. So let's go ahead and dive right into the content. So if you are just starting out on YouTube and you're wondering how can I monetize my channel, what am I going to be selling, what can I offer to people, is there something I can offer for free, is there a way for me to make money when I'm just starting out and I still have a small following? The answer is yes and in this video I'm going to share with you five different methods on how you can monetize your channel with just a small following. So the method number one is affiliate marketing. I believe that's one of the best strategies you can ever go for, especially when you don't have your own offers, when you don't have the time to create your own offers, when you don't even have experience, or if you're just brand new, maybe you are just right out of high school, out of college, you don't even know what you're supposed to be doing with your life. There are so many different affiliate marketing companies and systems that you can choose to promote. I'll share with you a couple that I'm a part of. The first one is called Mylit System Pro. That's one of the affiliate marketing systems that I personally have started with. I'm gonna link a video right here where you can check out the review of MLSP. So you can check it out what it is and uh, how it could benefit you as well, how you can make money as an affiliate. One other system I've been using as well, and that's basically a tool that I have been utilizing for, for my business, has been ClickFunnels. So I'm gonna link down below for a couple of videos as well so you can check that out. I've also been using different affiliate systems such as Aweber, that's an autoresponder that I'm using, and a couple others, but the best part is you don't have to be creating any kind of product. All you have to be doing is create high quality content, make sure that you're building your audience, make sure that you're expanding your audience every single day, and then you're pointing people to the affiliate marketing products that you have access to. So method number two is done for you services. So if you are a coach, if you have any sort of expertise, you don't even have to be a coach, you may be a fitness trainer, you may be somebody who's very tacky, you may be somebody who is, maybe you're a web developer, maybe you're a funnel designer, maybe you're a brand strategist, maybe you are a you know, graphic designer. So if you already have some sort of expertise which can help people ease their pain and solve their problems, then you should definitely offer some done for you services. Okay, so, and you can always charge really well for them. You can start low end, lower end and charge maybe per hour, then start charging per project, then raise your prices, get testimonials, raise your prices some more, and that's how you can also monetize is by offering your done for you services. Method number three, is digital programs and courses. So that's a really, really popular industry. There are so many course creators and um, you know digital product providers. So that is something that you can do if, even if you're just starting out, if you already have an expertise, if you already have an idea, if you already are good at something, then you can create an, a product of your own. And you don't even have to create a big product and charge you know, one of those 997 prices or whatnot. Start with a small product. Create a mini product about a solution to the problem of your audience and that's how you can start monetizing your YouTube channel with your own offer. And I will give you one piece of advice. Your own offers are always going to be converting way higher than anything else. Method number four, become a digital marketing agency or consulting. So that's a whole another field, that's a whole another industry. It is something similar to done for you services, but you can also offer services like website design, funnel design, Facebook ad management, which is generally the highest paid skill set. You can also become a social media management uh, company. There are so many different things that you can do. All you really have to do to start your own digital agency is find a mentor, learn the skill set, be it Facebook ads, be it maybe something like Summit. So me and my friend and business partner, we have an agency that we just recently started where we 
uh, help you design and promote and monetize your virtual summit. So that's something we do on, you know, the side, which takes a big side of our businesses. So you can choose a niche, an industry, a field, and focus on one specific skill set. Get really, really good at it. Get some clients under your belt in the beginning, even if it's going to be free clients. Maybe you have somebody from your family. Maybe you have somebody from your network who you could use as a case study. Help them with their offer, with their business and then make them a testimonial. And last but not least, method number five is you can become a coach and charge for your time starting out, but I only recommend doing this if you already have some sort of expertise, if you already are knowledgeable in a certain area, if you've already had success in any given industry or niche, and also maybe have some sort of certification. So because the coaching industry, I feel like it's overloaded at this point and every single person and their dog try to become a coach these days. So I only recommend doing this if you feel like you are qualified enough and if you feel confident enough that you can help people on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So I'll give you my example. I never charged for coaching until I got certified as a business growth coach, which happened in 2016 at this point. And only then I felt like, okay, so maybe I am able to charge for coaching. I have some clients under my belt. I have a lot of testimonials. Not a lot of testimonials, you know, compared maybe to a lot of people, but I have a good amount of testimonials at this point. And people have succeeded using the methods that I have taught them. I can probably charge for coaching. So only do it in this case. Otherwise, I definitely do not recommend doing that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this gave you some clarity on what you can do uh, for your small YouTube channel. If you are just starting out, definitely implement, choose at least one. Okay, I don't recommend doing every single one of these methods because you can get yourself burned out. But I shared also a lot more monetization strategies and how to make money online in these videos right here. So be sure to check those out. And in the next video, I wanted to share with you, I give you like a little sneak peek of what's going to be happening next. If you are just starting out on YouTube, I'm going to share with you how to get your first 100 subscribers fast. So be sure to hit that bell sign down below this video to get notified whenever that video goes live, which is going to be next week. And hit the subscribe button and share this video with a friend. And um, be sure to also take a screenshot of this video and tag me on Instagram. My username is in the corner of this video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.